Hi guys. I am going to show you tonight really quick how I made this. Um, twisted coils. One is half round on 20 and the other is 26 gauge on 20. And then we're going to twist it up. And I'm just going to show you real quick how I did it. So, I already have two 20 gauge pieces cut out. Uh, this is going to be a small piece just to show how to do it. Um, okay, so I have the 20 gauge set up on my drill and on my swivel. And I have a little bit... Um, of the 26 gauge coiled already so I'm just gonna coil a little more and I'm not gonna make it too long so just get a little bit more on there Okay, so really quickly, I have taken the one we just made off. Um, I got a Sharpie. I have the other piece of 20 gauge. And what I'm going to do, because I want these to be roughly the same size, and if they're not afterwards, I can fix it up a little bit. But I'm going to come in, and I'm going to mark right over, right where I want to cover over. Okay, so I have the other one set up now. And I am going to, what I did was I actually started it out while well, I wrapped it around like I usually do around the L. And then I gave it a few spins around. I mean, you could really just do this whole part right here by hand. Um, it would be a little quicker than doing the 26 gauge one, but I am going to go a lot slower using the half round to try and make sure it stays tight. So let's give it a shot. Okay, so, and you probably noticed this time, unlike the other wire, I'm actually holding my finger up against it, and I'm pressing in with my nail right here, so that it's not, it's giving it, it tension as it winds onto the core, but it's also, I'm not out here pulling on it. Hold on one second. Okay, so as you can see, um, if I hold my finger here, I will have tension and pressure against my finger. And I'm keeping the wire straight, though. So instead of tugging on the wire from down here, you see that's going to put tension on the line. It's going to drag it down. That's what I don't want to do. So I do not want to do that because I do not want to snap my wire. Um, so that's why I'll hold it right here. And really all the pressure from this wire pulling is just hitting my finger. So, let's see. So you can see... I'm actually pulling it down like this into my finger. Anyways, we'll move on. Okay, and what I'm doing from here is just checking the coil. I've left excess on here. 
So I can just go ahead and check these. Okay, yeah, I went a little further doing that example. So what do I want about right there? Okay, and there I go. I have two coiled 20 gauges, uh, about at the same length. Uh, I measure off of where I'm going to put them in the drill, where they sit in the drill. When I set them in there, that they'll be the same length in there. So we have the half round 22 gauge and the 26 gauge. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these in the drill and we're gonna twist these up okay so you can see I've got these both in I do not need them in a swivel this time they're gonna hang loose so I'm going to go ahead and twist it and I am going to start with these really beat up nylon pliers and now I'm gonna start with these pliers and I want to start with these pliers because it's going to give me some slack. It's not going to put too much strain on the wire. You'll notice this will probably start to slide a little. And then I'll tighten it up with some regular pliers. Okay, and I'll get my regular pliers out, and I'm going to clamp on where it did the twisted wire effect. So now you have twisted coil, and then you have twisted wire. I'm going to clamp onto that twisted wire and let it go a little more. Now I'm going slow, so I don't I don't want to snap the wires, so I want to go slow if I feel like it gets too much tension or too much resistance. I'm going to go ahead and stop. And that's just how twisted the coil will be. Sometimes the, co the wire decides for you. So that's what we got. Um, this may or may not be tighter than the one I did. I think it's a little looser, actually. Yeah, it's definitely a little looser. But, like I said, it's what the wire tells you. Uh, I didn't want to push it anymore. Also, trying to get to where there's a little bit of consistency in the wire you will notice that this side is this side is going to be a little tighter wound as it goes down it'll start to get a little looser um so i am going to go to the last step and go from there okay so what i want to do from here is i want to clean up this end which was in my chuck and my drill and then I'm going to do some adjustment on this side because I want to make this wire able to be set as an attachment. So first I'm going to start with cleaning up this end.
Okay, now I'm going to, now that it's cleaned up, I'm going to twist around one of the wires. I'm going to pick one, and I'm going to twist it right around there, probably just till it meets up once. Maybe a little difficult because your wire will be work hardened now from spinning in the drill. And there's that end. Now for this end. Okay, and there's that end. So I'm gonna leave some excess here. I don't know what project this is gonna be for. I have enough on this end to tie off onto a frame. I have enough on this end. Now the last part is going to be the 24 gauge. <clears throat> so I am going to do the 24 gauge now. I have a long stretch of 24 gauge because I don't have one on a bobbin. And I'm going to just wrap around once on this side. Find the first groove I want to follow, and I will just do this part by hand. It's not going to take very long at all. Just twisting it as I go into that crease. Go ahead and clip it. And I'm going to clean this one up before I do the next one. It's got that one loop around. Okay, but before I do it, I'm going to show you, there we go, I'm going to show you that there is still an extra space there. You could leave it like this, I didn't, I wanted it to be in between each of those spaces because I wanted a separation between the two wires. I just wanted to show separation between the two coils. Uh, one person on Facebook had mentioned that they could only see 124 gauge. So they were wondering where the other 24 gauge was. It's tricky, but there's two slots there. So that's why we're running a second one. Because now it's every other one has 24 gauge in it. And now we're going to go back and do the other one. Because you use two wires, you have two sides, you have two seams. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm trying to keep it as clean as possible on the ends. Um, granted, this is only the second time I've done this 
variation. So all I can do is try. And I want to spin, I want to get to this right here. So do the same thing and just spin it up. I am trying to make this video a little shorter, you guys. The whole reason I'm doing this and not another like pendant tutorial, walkthrough, what have you. Like I said, I plan on it. Um, it's been really crazy over here. Doing a lot of work on the house. Got a lot of work in general. And I just haven't had the time. It takes quite a bit of time to sit down and do the wrap, to talk, to explain it. Just doing the wrap in and of itself is one thing but explaining I'll I'll do a one hour wrap it'll take me at least two hours um, and then there's editing and everything that goes along with it I also record on my phone and after I'm done recording on my phone what I'll do is I will upload it to my computer so that I can upload it to the internet via landline to try and make sure that the quality, even though my phone is out of focus like right now all the time, the quality is as good as it can be. So it takes a lot. So the only reason I'm doing this and not another full pendant is because I've been super busy. I plan on it still. Maybe this weekend I can. But this I figured would be a little bit shorter. And it's turned out to be shorter but still taking some time. So I'm just cleaning up this other end right here. And you may notice, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you as well. This end where I started, at least. It looks a bit raised right here at the end. And... That should be fine. Like I said, I'm trying to get it as nice as possible. But really, you probably, if you do this, you're going to use it as a addition to a piece on a frame or something. This is long enough for me to probably do. Let me see really quick. This is the pendant. Not the one I did in the other video, but based off of it. So I'm going to follow. So it goes to right about there, and then I could curl back over the top. I could probably do one of these with this length and use this instead of that coil, which I may try and do, especially if the, the pendant all in all is a little bit shorter. I could probably do one of these with it. <clears throat> um, it would probably just be to where the coil stop somewhere around here and then goes down a little bit and ties off on the bale um so it really depends you can do them shorter i was going to do it really short um but i wanted to make sure that spending the time doing this video that it was long enough for you to really see all the detail to it so that's it um Comparing the two, the one I originally had was a little bit tighter wound. It was twisted a little tighter. And as a result from that, you can see some people were saying it looked like beadwork, the half round. What it did was it, it put so much pressure on the line and squeezed it together so much that it started to bunch up and almost separate a little bit because I stopped before that happened on the other one it still looks like just a, a half round wire on 20 gauge so anyways thank you for watching um, 
I hope this helps some people, some people that want to know how to do it. Um, I really appreciate all the kind comments. Um, some, most, only the first tutorial was actually a full wrap. So, I know there's a lot of people that have watched some of these videos that... A lot of people have been very kind. I appreciate it. And I'm sure there are some people that are like, I know this. This is this is old news. And I appreciate that everyone's been really kind. This community seems to be for the most part. So, you can check out this new style I've been working on. Um, seen a few people doing ones like these. And I've been having a lot of fun with them. So, I thought I'd throw this in at the end. Uh, let me know, first of all, if you think they're any good, and if you do, if you'd be interested in wanting to see how I did any of these. Um, it's, it is. It's actually quite fun. It can be a little frustrating, especially if you're trying to keep symmetry, but all in all, it's actually pretty fun. So, like I said, guys, I appreciate you. Appreciate all of you. Thank you for being such a great community. And that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. I just want to help and add to the positivity. So here's this. Take this. Go put it on a piece. Go have fun. And I will see you guys next time.